drop ship and make $1,000 a day, flip houses and do a million, the housing market's crashing, invest in this stock, this coin is going to make you rich, easiest way to make $10,000 a night. Let me tell you the number one way that everybody to whom you are listening is clocking bank. We're on YouTube making money, teaching you how to make money. That's it. I've clocked up to $30,000 in one week, raising almost $3 million in grants. In other words, free money for small businesses nationwide on this thing right here. Little me with a smaller following than what we've got right now. That's why I give you the spreadsheet and link you to the resources that teach you everything. And yeah, a lot of it's full of people that make more money teaching than actually practicing the marketing that they're actually teaching. But yo, at least it's a start. I did not make my bones on YouTube. I marketed crazy websites. AOL, Adweek, The Hollywood Reporter, United States Department of Defense, The Nielsen Company, the 2012 Barack Obama presidential campaign. I learned from people in forums and trying and failing with tactics. I learned in other techniques I came up with myself. Do you need a high school diploma? I've got one, but you don't need one. My kids haven't graduated yet and they've helped me clock a few grand right here on YouTube. Just start running your jibs. Put the digital hustle on deck. Let me give you a hack. If you do not want to pay anyone to teach you how to make money online or off it, whenever you run up on a course sales page, copy the course description, all of the bullets, and perform a YouTube search, a Reddit search, a Google search, a Facebook search, TikTok, Gram, whatever. You'll get some information that will point you in the right direction. You'll get the specifics of what that person wants to sell you. You'll get a step-by-step -step to learn what you want to learn absolutely for free. I found a web article on, I don't even remember what blog that instructed me on how to make money on dig.com, a social news aggregator. Just think of Reddit, but with less categories. The key thing is I learned that this social media marketing racket is all about relationships. So I befriended all of the power users on that platform. We were like the social media mafia. Practically everything that used to go viral would get its start on Dig. We were like the gatekeepers of the internet. Those will it blend videos of a blend tech blender blending an iPhone into dust. Those videos went viral on Dig first. The HD DVD code that lets you copy and play DVDs they wanted Dig popped it off. The internet and I grew up together, at least the social media part, together with a little over 100 of my diggers. Whatever we made viral on Dig would go viral on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. Diggers don't die, we multiply. And you've got people on here, on YouTube, some of whom may have made some money on the web, off of it, and they wanna pass that knowledge along. But they're retiring from what they originally did or whatever they're teaching you how to do or offering to teach you what to do. As the Bible reads, you can't be a slave to two masters. You're either balls in with the laser dot focus on drop shipping, real estate, Turo, marketing as an advertising agency, or you're developing content right here on YouTube, the Gram, TikTok, Facebook, or whatever. We have a laser guided focus on doing the latter. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Just know the truth. Know where we're really getting this money so you can jump in on the money grab yourself. I am all about transparency. You've got the right idea, you can go viral in an instant. Build a community on whatever topic that you want to discuss, sell whatever the hell you want. You've got a business, BI, mind your neck, money over everything. I've got you backing into a spreadsheet with a wide variety of educational resources that you can access absolutely for free. I do not charge you a dime. You could learn how to build a YouTube channel for free. You could learn how to be a computer programmer, an AI programmer, cybersecurity. Now you've got ChatGPT4 that can code websites on your own behalf. The only reason you should pay is if you want to cut the time it takes to learn the material you need to learn to be successful at anything. So from my perspective, you're always coming out of your pockets. You're either paying with your time or you're paying somebody to spoon feed the material to you, to go ahead and take you by the hand and say, look, this is the way you do it. You're making this mistake, point out what wrongs you have to correct. 
after learning search engine optimization and social media marketing on blogs and forums for which I didn't pay any money, I have come out of my pockets with tens of thousands of dollars to learn more advanced concepts of marketing and operating my business. I'm about to be a certified tax advisor with a lawyer that charged me $5,000. Will I make that back? With the tax savings, I have already made my money tenfold. So it's worth it. But get your money right. There are hours of content uploaded into YouTube every hour. Don't tell me there isn't one nugget that won't get you your start. One of the easiest things for me used to be to learn a little SEO, hit a chamber of commerce or workforce center in your area, library, or wherever. Small business owners gather. Tell them or tell the administrators of the venue that you wanna teach small business owners how to market their websites. You communicate that little bit of knowledge you picked up in a few days. You're going to have people invading your store like you've got the Infinity Gauntlet and the Five Stones. Or simply join the creator economy. Start uploading content on whatever you want to discuss. Everybody's good at something or just get good at something. We started this channel filming our road trips and filming our kids performing trick shots and making their first basketball shots. I sold those videos for thousands of dollars before I got into discussing finance. I sold over $11,000 in family videos through licensing. Nationwide television shows that featured my videos and I learned how to do all that without paying a content creator a dime. Now, of course, I want to learn how to operate a more sustainable digital media business now. So I do pay for coaching and consulting. Our time is limited. I've got the family to feed and raise. I'm sure you do too. People depend on us. The world needs you. We are here to serve our neighbor. The only way we can do that is by developing a skill that can help us serve. Humans serve actions through education. If it wasn't for education, lions would be eating human shish kebabs off of a skewer. We're not that physically strong, we can't see well at night. And with all of our physical limitations, stop saying you're the victim. Because if you're alive and listening to me right now, whatever unfortunate circumstances that you had to endure has placed you here, ready to hear the message the true and living God has bestowed upon me to deliver to you today. Let me just show you some of the resources to which I link you on our spreadsheet that you can access by subscribing to our newsletter at bit.ly slash Neil Rod. I always keep the link in the video description below. Once you have opened our spreadsheet, Click on the free education tab and scroll down to row 13 where you will find that I have linked you to the YouTube Creator Academy. Upon clicking on the link youtube.com slash creators, the following page loads reading everything you need to create on YouTube. No matter what kind of information, advice, or help you are looking for, this is the spot. You've got update on new ways to earn, how things work, getting started on YouTube, building your community. All of these are live links, top questions. How do you earn on YouTube? How do you grow the channel? How do you promote videos? How does the algorithm operate? And you have all these resources to which I have opened access absolutely for free on our free education tab, which is probably the most powerful tab on the spreadsheet. I've listed all kinds of links. TikTok for small business, 30 legendary examples of startup pitch decks. This is great information because you get to see this pitch deck many successful startups have used in order to secure venture capital, spark ideas, Facebook. Look, this is the deck that Facebook used to get money so they could launch this mega social platform, Airbnb. That'll give you some great information if you are raising money for your startup. Hey How to learn Python. I took this class through Google. This is a class that Google holds that teaches you how to work and operate one of the most ubiquitous programming languages on the web, Python. You can build all kinds of things with Python. It's a three-day course and this can get you on the start to go ahead and join a boot camp or to increase or enhance your programming skills to become a web developer, getting paid upwards of 100000 and 200000 I've got a friend that he's a came from the streets, just like me, used to hang out with me, do all kinds of dirt. I didn't want to get into everything. Probably do that in another video. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to hear about it. 
And I find out this dude is the senior development manager for one of the biggest media companies on the planet, right? And some dude that came from the dirt, Jamaica, Queens, New York. Speaking of New York, in New York, they have individual training grants. I've got a $4,000 grant to get my CDL class A license 20 years ago. They may have more programs. Every time I ask the people that are coordinating, ministering these programs, they always say that they have training grants available for CDL class A drivers. They're always giving you this stuff. And even if you don't go this route, if you want to be a CDL class A driver, you can just go with one of these over the road companies. And I think you sign a contract to earn less than what you'll be earning once you become a permanent driver. And throughout that time, they help you get your learner's permit. And I think you have to have the learner's permit before you go over there. They're about to call me up. And then I got a job working with the Trump organization back in the day and never took it. And you could get your license that way and you're not coming out of your pockets to do so. I got four grand from that grant. So if your state doesn't offer these programs, you may want to consider moving to New York. I know New York is expensive, but there's always ways to work it out. I know people that they live together. I know a number of people from flyover states that they've left Oklahoma, Kansas, and all these places to go to New York to find work. And if you're looking for assistance, that may be the way to work it. And you get together with a couple of people you got roommates or whatever, you get that hustle on if you want to make your dream a reality. Reddit, big SEO. I've shared this several times. If you want to learn search engine optimization, just read the first paragraph. There's so much information out there. Learning SEO may seem daunting, so we at our big SEO want to streamline the process by compiling a list of guides and resources for you all to use and learn from. The beauty about big SEO is that they share all kinds of case studies. So you go to the top section right here. Google are removing URLs. People share content. They're readily sharing. That's the beauty of Reddit. I used to use it to market my content on there, but now I get it for topic ideas throughout the entire pandemic. I got to stay on the pulse of what small business owners required in terms of government support through the PPP and Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program. Reddit was the key. That's how I got in touch with people at the SBA as well that had leaked information on requirements for the Economic Injury Disaster Loan approvals. You've got LinkedIn Learning. I'm not sure if this is completely free. Nonetheless, I think it's very cost effective, perhaps 30, 40 bucks a month. I remember I took a Python test on here. I didn't pass it and I was going to take the course. I didn't have the time to do it, but I'm pretty sure that they have a solid learning track for Python and other disciplines that you can go ahead and learn and execute to find your next opportunity to take it to the next step towards completing your objective. Hack the box. This allows you to perform experiments where you can enhance your skills or develop your skills to become a cybersecurity specialist. It's all linked right here on the free education tab, the most powerful tab on the spreadsheet, the keyword planner. When it comes down to performing search engine optimization, it's all about keywords. So the keyword planner allows you to find keywords and find the search volume. So you start to put your numbers together and find out exactly how much it's worth for you to market a website, optimizing the page for a particular keyword. That goes into the nuts and bolts of search engine optimization and advertising. This is actually an advertising tool as opposed to you developing a website and waiting for the search engines to have you appear organically for queries of targeted keywords. You can pay to appear for a targeted keyword using the keyword planner. And I've got it linked right there. The Meta Blueprint, Meta Certifications, they teach you how to become all kinds of stuff for free, how to become a digital marketing associate, a marketing science professional, a creative strategy professional. Allison, look, a number of people have asked me about medical assistance programs. Here goes a medical assistance program. It reads that it's free when I perform the query for free medical assistance programs, free medical billing and coding certification programs. These jobs pay upwards of 30 to 40 to 50 $60 an hour if you got your own business. The income generating potential is endless. This Forbes article links you to all these resources where you could learn how to perform medical billing and coding for free right here. Like the Udemy, Udemy, even when it's not free, it's still cheap. Look, starting at $16.99 for a course, free medical billing training with freemedicalbillingtraining.com, medicalbillingandcoding.org. 
and a cybersecurity and healthcare. You enroll for free, and I think you just have to pay for the certification and a number, a broad variety, a gargantuan amount of resources that I link you to are available on our spreadsheet that you can find by subscribing to our newsletter at bit.ly slash Neil Rod. Watch the video you see on the screen right now so I can keep you on top of what's going down.